Oh. Hi, AAW Universe. It's uh, it's me, Master Black. Sorry, just uh, counting my winner's purse from last week at AAW Live. Something that uh, Lord Marshall Hansen hasn't been able to do for quite some time. <laughs> Talking of Lord Marshall Hansen. Hi, by the way. Loved your impression last week. What it was absolutely spectacular. I'm sure that you passed your GCSE drama. But anyway, we, we go back to the original point. Lord Marshall Hansen has some very uh, choice words to say about me, you know. Uh, some fair points, sure, yeah, of course. And some, a little bit of mockery. Great job, by the way. But I'm not going to kid around anymore with this. Lord Marshall Hansen, you have a big target on your back, yeah, you know. You're going to be wanting to watch out for that, sure. And you're obviously gunning for the AEW Intercontinental Championship, a championship that I've contested for. And yes, sure, I have fallen short of that twice, you know, and that's fair. That is fair. But I don't think that you're ready for someone like Archangel. Now, your win-loss ratio in AEW is pretty spectacular. Great job, kiddo. But let me reaffirm something to you. Archangel has only lost twice. And I'd like to say that he's lost to the best in AAW. There's a reason why he is still the AAW Intercontinental Champion. Maybe uh, I wasn't quite good enough and maybe the other competitors who've come before him weren't quite good enough. But I can tell you right now that you are not ready. You lost to three amazing competitors in AEW. No one is selling them at all, but you come in here every single week going, I'm the best, better watch out for me. I'm all the money and all the rage. Yet you still live with your mother, for Christ's sakes, in your 1960s bloody house with a painting of a horse on the wall. Great self-portrait, by the way. Sure that you got some good grades in your art class. Now, let's just go back. And let's focus on something that is brewing between you and me. I know that we're on a collision course and one day we will face and it's going to be spectacular. And I feel at that time, you're going to walk away from that encounter humbled and a bit sore, and bruised and in pain by not only my hands, but by defeat. And you're going to want to wash away that hatred that you're going to have for yourself, that punishment that was bestowed upon you by me. And that's one thing that I can confirm will happen when we encounter. Now, whether that is for the AEW Intercontinental Championship or not, is beside the point. Yes, the stipulation will change if that is the case. I'll be fighting even harder. But I will no longer allow you to ridicule the incredible AAW roster that we have here, the guys that really deserve the opportunity instead of pretenders like you who buy their way to their opportunities, to buy their way to the shots that they believe they deserve. You sit and you curse out AW management all the time, but yet you always want, seem to be the one who's all lying in their pockets. Maybe that's why you still live with your mother, because you can't actually afford to win a match, so you buy your way to the top. Now, we will see each other very soon. And I cannot wait for that encounter and for your life to change as I bring the light the best way that I can. But my attention is focused somewhere else. AEW Royal Battle, an incredible opportunity for me to define myself and cement my legacy here in AAW. I will go to AEW Royal Battle and I will walk away with the opportunity to face the AAW Champion at AAW Dynasty. And I cannot wait to see who that is and bring the light and cleanse AAW for once. And this will be my destiny. And my dynasty will be cemented forever. Mercer Black, AAW champion. And that is a promise that I will fulfill. See you soon, Lord Marshall Hansen. <laughs> Anyway, where was I at? Uh, oh yeah, that's right.